welcome to Vicky Makes and Builds. Uh, so this video is part two of my What is Wasgidge uh, series. I was going to try and do two puzzles in the one video, but it just turned out to be a bit too long. Um, so this is the second puzzle that I was going to build. And this one is uh, a lesser known Wasgidge concept. Um, I talked about it a bit in the in part one, which um, if you've not seen that yet, go and have a look at it because it goes into a lot more detail about the different concepts of Wasgidge and what Wasgidges are and how they work and everything. Um, so this one is going to be it's going to be a lot shorter because really this this video just involves the puzzle build. There's not really any kind of any more explanation I need to give, but I will just give a brief overview of this one. So this concept is called Imagine, and it's a concept that Wasgidge brought out in 2015, but then halted production of. And I actually didn't know they existed until very recently, so I was quite intrigued. I, I really wanted to give one a try, and I actually think this one uh, <laughs> sounds like it's going to be quite uh, interesting, quite clever. They normally come up with a clever solution on these puzzles. Um, so just a wee spoiler alert, the um, solution to the puzzle is not the same as the picture on the box. And so when I build this puzzle, you will see the solution. So if you if you have this puzzle maybe, or you want to have a go at it, then um, just a wee spoiler warning that I will reveal the solution, obviously, as I build the puzzle. Um, so that's that out of the way. So anyway, this is Wasgidge Imagine number two. And it is what you have to do in this one is to imagine if the wheel had not been invented. OK, so what you've got on here is a picture of several, um, several things with wheels attached to them. So all different kinds of vehicles. You've got, um, you've got a car, you've got motorbike, you've got a push bike, you've got a train. Uh, I think there's a skateboarder on here and there's somebody on roller skates. Um, but actually something I noticed uh, since I spoke about this puzzle last is there's a lot of round things, uh, not just wheels, but th things that are round on this picture as well. So it, it, it kind of came to my attention that um, there's a guy in a burger which is round and the pizzas around and donuts around and I just wondered if that maybe had some significance because obviously wheels are also round um so maybe maybe they'll go somewhere with that or maybe it's just filler I don't know but um I'm really eager to get started on this and see what they've concocted for this one um so there's various clues on the box for this one to help you along a bit. Um, I went through these in part one, uh, in the part one video about Wasgidge. So um, go and have a look at that and catch them on here. But it really is just most of the hints just sort of try and get you to put your mind in the mode where you're imagining how people might get by um, without things that, you know, rely on wheels and things like that. So it the hints really just try and kind of get you to think a little bit more wasgidge like. Um there is a hint on the inside of the well it's the outside of the the box with the pieces in, it's kind of the outside edge. There's a hint on there with a couple of little pictures um, of what's actually in the puzzle, but they're really, really small. And uh, you can't see them very well and they don't reveal very much. So, you know, the hints might help you, um, but I think really the best way forward with Wasgidge is to just use the pieces themselves to try and build it and put it together. Um, for this puzzle, I'm gonna do a different method of building. So for the first one I did, the Destiny Wasgidge number 21, I did my shuffle method which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, that came together in about five hours, or just shy of five hours, I think. Um, so for this one, I'm going to try a different method, just to see, really, just out of interest, to see if I manage it any quicker using a different method. So I'm going to use the lay it all out method on this one. Um, so I'm just going to turn all the pieces over, probably separate out the edges, and that way I'll be able to kind of see what I'm working with and hopefully... Um, divide up some sections by colour. usually work a lot with colour with Wasgidge because they're cartoons. You've not really got complicated textures going on. So um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, just separate by colour and 
because I'll be able to see all the pieces that might possibly be a little easier. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It's not my kind of default go to mode of puzzling, but it may be maybe a better way of approaching a was gauge. We'll and maybe check my time and see if it comes together a little bit quicker as well. Um, so yeah, so that's all I'm going to say on that. I'm going to um, open it up just now. This one isn't really needing to be unboxed officially. It's actually a used puzzle. I bought this from eBay. Um, st still in really good condition. This one obviously at one stage came with a free colouring book, but that wasn't in there, so you know, missed out on a colouring book on that one, but uh, the pieces are bagged up and I am assured that they are all there, so hopefully it will be a complete puzzle at the end. I'll, I'll rummage through the pieces, but the pieces are the same, uh, same style, same kind of shapes, same cardboard at the back, um, really good kind of jumbo wasgage pieces, the same as, as in the Destiny wasgage. So again, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, Really just going to try and dive into the build and see what this puzzle has to offer. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, so that's all the pieces turned over and a pile of edge pieces in the middle. I've not left myself a very big gap, but I'll kind of make it bigger as I go along. Uh, so yeah, it kind of looks like a jumbly mess at the minute, but I have to say um, being able to see every piece is kind of handy and it allows me, to, um, allows me to just kind of look at them from a distance and see which pieces sort of jump out at me. And I've got to say the ones that are jumping out at the minute are red pieces. There are quite a few scattered across this pile. Red does tend to be the colour I home in on first on these uh, was gidges. So um, I think uh, once I've done the edge, I'll probably start with that, picking out the reds and um, putting those together and just take it from there. Okay, so uh, there's pros and cons to this lay it all out method. Um, first of all, you need a big enough table because uh, my pieces, as you can see, are perilously close to the side. And I've knocked a couple off um, as I've been doing this. And you obviously need enough space to actually build your puzzle. Uh, but um, a good thing about it is that I can just scan over these pieces and the like the pieces just jump out at me like I can I've recognized already several red pieces I've pulled out a few pink pieces uh pulled out a few of these which look to belong to this part of the edge where it's kind of orange and yellow I uh, found a few um pieces that belong to this pizza sign uh, which no longer appears to be round by the looks of things um so i it's just it's made the whole thing easier than the shuffle method because i'm, I'm effectively doing the same thing pulling out pieces and building it in sections but i'm able to see them better so i'm able to kind of do it a little bit quicker without having to keep going back and shuffling more so um and i mean really when you start pulling out as many pieces as this the pile obviously goes down so um, then the pieces aren't quite so close to the edge. So, you know, pros and cons, but uh, but so far so good. So I'm just going to start building up uh, some sections out of the pieces that I've already pulled out and I'll just keep plugging away at it um, like that.
right, so the puzzle's coming along nicely. I have um, put in most, if not all, of the red pieces. There's quite a lot of red. You've got this car at the front, and the skateboard is red. You've got the kind of the front of the pizza place is red. Um, I've put in a few sky pieces, and um, there's like more red there. There were quite a few sort of red and yellow striped pieces. That is because there, there's a hot air balloon there, and that appears to be a parachute. Um, now, I'm, there was a couple of things I just wanted to kind of point out at this stage. And that is that the first thing is that I don't know if it's because this is a used puzzle. It's obviously been done before, but the pieces do not stay together as well in this particular Wasgage as they did in the Destiny Wasgage. <clears throat> that was a brand new puzzle. I was doing that new and they stay together perfectly. I showed you examples of me picking up whole sections and they stay together brilliantly. This is just a little bit more crumbly when you pick it up. You can see all the pieces start to kind of bend. Um, and as I say, I do not know how many times this puzzle has been done. It was purchased, used. So um, I don't know if that's just kind of loosened the pieces up a bit, but it's a tiny bit frustrating um but again that's not maybe not something i can kind of blame jumbo for uh if the puzzle's been done a few times so my assumption is that that is the reason um but you saw in the destiny was gage that ordinarily the pieces do stay together really really well so that was the first thing um the second thing i wanted to say was that i'm starting to kind of see um a little of where they've kind of gone with the solution to this puzzle, uh, imagining if there was uh, the wheel had not been invented. Um, I actually said at the start that I didn't think it would just be a case of all of these vehicles and skateboards and things just without wheels. Well, I'm now beginning to maybe change my mind a little on that. You clearly do have all the same vehicles. Uh, so, for example, this chap who is skateboarding... Um, has a skateboard without wheels. So my best guess is they've taken the direction that the technology is slightly different and instead we have hoverboards maybe. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit of picture comparison. So here you've got the skateboarder, it's got wheels on it. Here you've got the skateboard and it doesn't. Um, I can't fully see what's going on with the car, but on this motorbike here, this one here, you've got wheels, uh, but here you appear to have a rocket uh, attached to the back. So um, I don't know. It seems like this puzzle is sort of saying if the wheel wasn't invented, we'd have much more modern uh, and high tech <laughs> ways of getting around, i.e. hovering and um, jetpacks on the back of motorbikes. Uh <laughs> which isn't honestly where I thought it would go. I don't honestly know where I did think it would go, but still, um, it, it just it just surprised me a bit, that particular tack. Um, another thing which I am noticing is ev everything that's round is now not round. So, um, so they've not just gone with the whole, uh, the wheel hasn't been invented. It's kind of like they've gone with the circle Anything circular hasn't also been invented. So pizzas are now this weird wobbly shape and ring donuts are now tri donuts. So we've got triangles instead and we've got funny shaped things. Another thing I noticed is these. And at first I thought these were ice cubes um, that had gone flying up in the air from some mishap. But actually looking back at the box, they're bubbles. Um they look to be bubbles, uh, but obviously bubbles are round. So now they're cubes. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's kind of typically was gidge in the sense that it's a wee bit silly. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it looks as though uh, that's the way that they're going with this. Obviously, I've still got a lot of gaps here that I need to fill out. And I'll continue as I've been going with that. The lay it all out method has actually been quite handy. And it's a lot easier, to be honest, to just find pieces. And what I'm finding is that um, I start off with a bunch of piles like reds and sky pieces and things. And then I just spot other ones and I just grab them. Um, so I'd say um, if you do kind of go at it with this method, just just keep going with your gut and your instincts with Wasgage. Just 
when you see a bunch of pieces that are all very similar, just grab them and put them together. And eventually it starts to starts to come together. So, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this puzzle so far. Uh, it's it's looking really, really good. So I'm going to try and um, get a few more bits of the picture filled in. Well, that is the uh, part two puzzle uh, for the Was Gidge series finished. Um, I really enjoyed it. Again, I always enjoy Was Gidge. It was great fun. And um, I had a good chuckle to myself as I was doing it, which again, always seems to happen when I do Was Gidge. Um, I've got just a couple of observations to make about it, really. Um, but before I kind of go through uh, sort of what's changed from the box image, uh, I was just going to say that I I sort of went into this not knowing if it was going to be more like an original was gidge in the sense that the picture will be completely a completely different world altogether, uh, you know, with no wheel having been invented. Um, so you know, I didn't know if the picture was going to be completely different, like in an original or if this was going to be more like a mystery was gidge where the scene is essentially the same, colours are the same, the elements are the same, but with slight differences. Um, and it has turned out that this is actually more like a mystery was gidge. Um, so in that sense, I would say I found this a little bit easier um, because I was able to use the box image to a certain extent. Um, I was able to kind of identify that all the red pieces were belonged to the, the car in the bottom right corner. Um, and, and the pizza pieces stood out pretty obviously and things like that. Cause essentially most of this is the same. There's just a few, uh, a few slight differences. Um, also I was, I was a little surprised because I initially thought that this would not be a, just a simple case of oh, you've got all the same things but without wheels. Um, to a certain extent that actually is exactly the case. <laughs> um, you do still have all the same things uh, but they have they have kind of um, done a few different things with it. It's not just like they've kind of used the same mode of uh, movement for every single vehicle. They've, they've kind of shaken it up a little bit and they've done a couple of things that have surprised me. So whilst I'm not, I'm not disappointed uh, that it's not more different or that it's not more like an original, because original I would say is probably my favourite concept. Um, 
But it just, it I just kind of thought it was going to be more different than it actually is. So it was just kind of a slight, um, slightly unexpected side to this puzzle. But um, so, yeah, just comparing the two pictures, the box image versus the final uh, puzzle solution, you've now got uh, different technology. Um, so instead of having skateboards, you have a hoverboard. Instead of having um, a car with wheels, you've got a hover car. Um, it actually says hover one on the side of it, uh, just to kind of make that clear. You've got a motorbike with a rocket attached to the back of it. So, and the chap's wearing a parachute. Uh, so I guess there's a certain amount of danger involved in a rocket propelled um, motorbike. <laughs> Um, you've got the guy on roller skates appears to be on what looks like a pogo stick. Uh, could be wrong about that. It's hard to tell because the rocket kind of obscures it a little bit, but, um, he's definitely not on, uh, roller skates now. Um, the one that really made me laugh was the cyclist, the, this poor guy in the middle on the push bike. He, uh, he's fell off his bike because his wheels are square. <laughs> Um, so uh yeah so that, that how do we chuckle about that? that was quite funny the things i didn't expect um were the likes of the uh, ferris wheel uh which is in the background of the box image um top, on the top right hand side the ferris wheel is now a group of parachuting people <laughs> um so i guess it's kind of like a ride <laughs> <laughs> so it sort of makes sense in a wasgage kind of a way. Uh, so I thought that was quite clever. Um, the train is is it's just become kind of like a high speed bullet train type thing. Uh, so you know that's sort of logical, really. Um, one thing I actually did anticipate, but which I actually think is quite clever and quite funny, is that they've also gone for the. Um, uh, circles don't really uh, sort of exist in this world either. Now, I mean, it isn't like this puzzle is looking for um, a solution to the fact that there are no circles in the world. I have spotted a couple of circles in this picture. There's little circles at the top of these um, uh, traffic cones, and there's actually a circle at the top of the dotted eye on the word pizza. Um, so I don't know whether that was an oversight or whether they've just not aimed to outlaw circles completely in this, but certainly a lot of the circular aspects of the puzzle have become different shapes. So for example, this guy who um, is holding what appears to be a football, uh, the football is now cube shaped. Um, this uh, He's now eating a hot dog instead of a burger uh, because burgers are round. Um, the pizza is a weird shape that I can't even really identify. It's kind of wobbly and uh, all over the place. <laughs> um, ring donuts are now tri donuts, so we have triangular donuts. Uh, the exhaust pipes on the bike are triangular uh, instead of kind of cylindrical. So, um, oh yeah, and the one that I particularly liked is uh, this girl blowing the bubbles. Bubbles are now cube shaped. <laughs> So um, I thought that was quite a funny aspect, quite a, a kind of a fun thing to add. Um, oh, and the hot air balloon in the background as well. That's that's more square shaped than it is than it is round. So um, yeah, they've they've sort of gone for the whole you know circles don't really enter into it uh, kind of tack as well with this, um, which again I suppose makes sense because wheels are circular, obviously. So this particular world of Wasgidge don't really think circles i guess um so yeah overall i just thought this was just really really funny um and yes certain things i did expect certain things i didn't i've done a lot of was gidge so to be honest you do kind of get a sense of what might happen um so you know there were i hazarded a few guesses that were correct um but yeah, I would say overall, this is more like a mystery was gidge in um, or like difficulty level, but also in the sense that the scene is essentially the same, just with some slight alterations. Uh, so you would probably, if you had to go at an Imagine was gidge, you'd probably find this a wee bit easier. Um, you can use the box image to a certain extent to help and to help identify pieces as well. 
In terms of the method that I used to put it together, uh, the lay it all out method, I did actually find that um, it was more useful to be able to see all the pieces. I really was able to identify very quickly um, you know, where all the red pieces were, where the pizzas were, pizza pieces were, you know, where the yellow and orange striped pieces were, things like that. I was able to just sort of think, I was able to just look, see what there were a lot of uh, in kind of terms of kind of sections and then just grab those pieces and just put them in, uh, put them into place. So in that instance, I think in, in the case of Wasgage, I think the lay it all out method is actually a really quite efficient method of doing it. Um, you do need a big enough space to do it, but thankfully I do have that. So I was able to kind of get around the um, get around that aspect of it as well. Um, it did speed things up a little bit. I wondered if it might mean that I managed this a little bit faster and I did manage it a little bit faster. The Destiny Wasgage puzzle took me just under five hours. It was something like four hours, 58 minutes. This one took me four hours and 36 minutes. So I shaved a good sort of 20 odd minutes off my time, which is great. Um, I think that's partially to do with the fact that um, I used that method, but also to do with the fact that I think this one was just ever so slightly easier. Um, so there was that. Um, the last observation I wanted to make, and this kind of comes in a, the the form of a, a sort of a warning. Um, so these Imagine puzzles, the Imagine concept of Wasgage, aren't made anymore. So if you decide you want to have a go at one and you get hold of one, the likelihood is you will probably end up getting a used copy of it, like I did. This this was a used puzzle that I bought off eBay. All the pieces were there. It's in really good condition. The pieces are fine. There were no bent pieces or frayed pieces or anything like that. The box was still in good shape. Um, but because this puzzle has been done before and possibly multiple times, it's obviously been put together and taken apart a few times. And what's what that's done is it's had the effect of loosening the fit a little bit. So with this puzzle, I found I wasn't able to pick up and move sections like I was with the Destiny Was Gidge. They actually crumbled on me or they just sort of flopped. <laughs> So that was just a little bit frustrating, but I don't think that that's not any kind of slight on Jumbo. The pieces are the, the same, they're the same quality, uh, but the fit was just a bit looser. And I think that the only reason for that is just that it's a used puzzle. It's been done a few times, it's been put together and taken apart, and it's loosened the fit a little bit. I think with brand new was gidges, um, you will get the exact same situation as with the Destiny was gidge. And that is that the pieces, the sections move really well together and the puzzle pickup is just not a problem at all. Um, so that kind of comes as a bit of a warning, really, because you may kind of be expecting that aspect of it from an Imagine, but because Imagines aren't made, they might it might not be as easy to get hold of a brand new copy of one. Um, I, I mean, there probably are some floating about out there, and if you find one, great. I would recommend you get a brand new, like a sealed one rather than a used one. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with this puzzle. It looks great finished, uh, but just that aspect of it. Um, you have to kind of sacrifice that aspect of it uh, if you, um, the, the tightness of fit, if you decide you're going to go for a used copy of it. Um, that really was the only observations uh, that I had to make. Um, overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a, a really fun concept. And um, yeah, probably we'll try the other one or two. I don't know how many came out. I think there's only maybe one. Uh, sorry, two or three of these. So yeah, definitely go back and try uh, another one of these ones. And I'll have a go at the back two as well, because that's the only one I haven't actually tried in the Wasgage concepts now. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this Wasgage series of puzzles. I really hope you enjoyed the videos on this. Um, uh, this is a, a midweek kind of release uh, video. Normally I bring them out at the weekend, but because I ended up having to split this into two parts, I didn't want to just be week after week doing wasgages. I've already got a couple of wasgage videos on the channel as well. So um, I thought I would just bring this out as kind of a midweek 
uh, release video and um, do you another video at the weekend as well. Uh, and for that video, I will be joined by my children because this week it is actually, uh, and next week as well, it is actually the Easter holidays here in the UK. So my kids aren't at school. So what better way to spend it than doing some puzzles together? So you'll see them this weekend as well. But um, yeah, for now, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will. See you next time. Bye.